Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, let's take a look at On One Photo Raw Max, the creative tool that you've been looking for in your photo editing. In the upcoming release of Photo Raw, there's two editions, On One Photo Raw and On One Photo Raw Max. With On One Photo Raw Max, you get all of those same tools and features inside of Photo Raw, such as the all new Brilliance AI and all of the powerful standards such as no noise and effects. Yet if your workflow usually starts in another program such as Lightroom, Photoshop, Apple Photos, or really any of your other favorite photo editors, you can now access all of those powerful photo raw features in one seamless move and then immediately jump back into your base editor with that modified photo. As an example, let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you just how easy it is to integrate photo raw max into your editing. So let's say your workflow usually starts inside of Lightroom. And when your workflow starts, you usually use the develop tab here and you go in and modify the basic adjustments and then you go in to get a bit more creative with the style in another application or you use Lightroom. Well, let me show you how Photo Raw Max can fit into that workflow by giving you a whole new world of creative tools that you can use to modify and adjust any sort of style that you want to be seen on your image. So we'll go into the develop section of Lightroom here. We'll do the basic adjustments in here, we'll pull up on the shadows, maybe remove some contrast so that we can reveal some more of those dark regions there. And everything's looking gravy. Well, from here, maybe you wanna add in a bit more oomph and a little bit more pop to the scene. Well, there's no better software than On One Photo Raw Max for bringing the life into a scene like this. So to quickly go to Photo Raw Max, let's just use the file menu here. We'll go to Plugin Extras, and we can head into our On One Photo Raw 2024 section there. The first thing I want to do is just go into On One Effects. In the Export Options here, let's use Edit a Copy so that we can maintain these adjustments that we just applied, and then we'll head into OK. That will open up the image inside of Photo Raw Max, and we can immediately get to modifying the Creative Style with our Effects tab. So the first thing I want to do is bring in a nice detail filter into the scene. And if I go to add filter here, there's no better filter for applying texture and detail than dynamic contrast. If we apply that there and we turn this off and on, you can immediately see it brings out all of those textures and details and makes things pop. You can always use the preset styles in here to give it a little bit more detail or modify it in other ways. I'm just gonna use natural there for a nice soft bit of detail. Now another thing I wanna modify in here is just the look of the lights within the glass there. A great filter for that, if I go to add filter here, is the glow filter. Glow adds a nice bit of soft haziness to the scene and it works really well in areas like this where we have glass and light. So let's go into styles and I'm going to choose darker. And you can see that by just using that preset there, I've modified the entire look of the scene and it's looking way better. I have a lot more sort of drama and mood within the light there and I really enjoy what it's doing to the background to sort of darken it up a bit. Now, if it's a little bit too dark, you can always go in and lower the opacity. Or you can find another style in here with any of these other different glows. And I may actually use this one because it's a little bit less dark and we can see a few more of those details. But you can see it really brings in a nice bit of haziness and some soft glow into the light there. So real quick, let me just check on the highlights within the scene. Because we were modifying a bit of detail and contrast, I wanna see if I've blown out the highlights here. So let me just hold down J. And I do see I have quite a bit of blowout in the highlights. So an easy way to fix that, uh, because we can immediately head into any of these different modules, so I'm just going to actually go into the develop tab there. I can go into my tone and color and I'll just pull back on my highlights. So I've saved those different highlight regions there. 
And if I need to, I can immediately go back into effects. I can start modifying other filters. Or if I need to, I can add in local adjustments or get creative with a sky swap. But I think things are looking great. The one thing I may want to check out if I'm maybe wondering about a specific style that may look good on the scene is I could head over to my preset drawer here and I can access all of the different presets that are built right into Photo Raw. One of my favorites is the black and white modern section. And remember, you can always just hover over the preset. It will give you that look and style applied to your scene. And I am actually really kind of digging the black and white. So let me just right click here and I'm going to choose insert preset. That way I can keep the current settings I have. And wow, I think it's looking pretty decent there. Um, if things are looking a little dark, remember I've said it before, but you can always go back into any of these different tabs or tools or features and you can quickly readjust or remodify if you need to. So let's say we're digging the black and white after all, we can just go down to done. And now back in Lightroom, if we just scroll to the right, we have our modified photograph that we used on one photo raw max to really bring out a nice style in. And then we have the original or the sort of modified original from Lightroom. So that's how easy it is to incorporate photo raw max into your workflow Regardless of what you're trying to create, you have some sort of tool inside of Photo Raw Max that you can use to enhance that workflow or speed up that photo editing process. As you can see, it's the best of on one in a single application, and it's ready to integrate itself into any of your post-processing workflows wherever they may start. It's fast, it's easy, it will save you time, and it will open up your images to a whole new world of creative tools and features. Also with the Max Edition, you'll get three activations rather than two, and it also comes with 200 gigabytes of cloud sync storage. That way you can sync all of your photographs across your computers, tablets, and phones. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next sneak peek.